Hola a todos y a todas. Hi everybody. Um, uh, we are, my name is Jose. Uh, my partner today is Emilio. And uh, we are here from Uruguay. Uruguay is a country you can search in Google. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are from the University of the Republic, La Universidad de la República of Uruguay. Okay, in the first part of the presentation, uh, we'll be uh, speak in Spanish and a, a few English. Uh, the UDELAR, is, uh, La Universidad de la República, is the main uh, university of Uruguay, the principal university of Uruguay, is the main plus, plus, plus uh, uh, institution, University of Uruguay. And we have um, 100,000 uh, students, uh, one hundred thousand. Sorry, one hundred thousand students, and we have um, twelve thousand uh, uh, professors. And we have uh, a lot of, of, of careers and twenty schools. We have uh, twenty-five uh, installation of Moodles. Uh, 16 centralized and nine decentralized. And we have a um, uh, single sign, uh, oh, single sign, I'm sorry, with a Shibulet technology login. Yes. In the 2020, the use of technology because the <laughs> pandemic situation uh, it was uh, intensified for the, um, the use of the, the system uh, model online of the university. Uh, we, in the Friday, uh, was declared uh, the situation of the pandemic in Uruguay, and the Monday, the university uh, are uh, functioning uh, totally online. We have uh, only weekend, only one weekend for for the transformation or for the adaptation, the systems for uh, para nuestro model que quedara funcionando correctamente. Eh, eso también implicó we need uh, make a migration of all installation of models for a new system, virtualized system, for uh, the fun para poder quedar funcionando correctamente. Es común en nuestra universidad tener uh, miles de usuarios dando pruebas y exámenes y por lo tanto era muy importante para nosotros que tener un sistema que pudiera soportar esos miles de usuarios eh, haciendo pruebas eh, al mismo tiempo. Ahora Emilio nos va a mostrar el sistema que hubo que instalar para que pudiera soportar este, esas pruebas que necesitamos hacer. Ok, hi everyone. Uh, we have we are a little country, but our, our university has a lot of users, um, a large number of users. It was necessary to set up a Moodle-based <laughs> system dedicated exclusively to carry out online evaluations. We decided to make the online evaluations in a separate server, so it has no interference from the courses and the activity. So we know the server and the database is dedicated only to the students attempting the quiz. Okay, well, we installed an environment, I uh, will show you later, and the, the question was how many students that it support at the same time of concurrent. So looking for an answer, we decided to run our load test. We used Apache Shameter. Uh, the previous presentation was is a good combination because this is performance testing and for automated performance testing, Shameter is the tool, is open source and one of the best tools. It's easy to use. Uh, with Chaymeter, like in the picture in the previous presentation where the robot was making the request, with Chaymeter, the Chaymeter client generator makes the same HTTP requests to the server as a human with a, a web browser can do. So uh, for the server, it's the same. You have to take care of what content may be cached on the browser, but you can uh, script all that. 
Okay, we configured a middle quiz uh, as a test data. We need a test data, a test scenario uh, with uh, 16 quest questions in eight pages, two questions in each page, some small images, multiple choice, and other type of question. This data was generated uh, with 5,000 test users enrolled in the course. But we, uh, we think, uh, what does it mean that the users enter at the same time? And the critical moment in the quiz is the quiz starts. So if you say the quiz is opens at 8 a.m., so 8 a.m., all the students, thousands, enter to the quiz. This is the critical moment for the server. But it's not the same if the thousand users enter in 10 seconds or if they enter in two minutes. It's different for the server. So uh, we look at the real data of some schools with large, large uh, evaluations. For example, in this table, uh, we look at for evaluation with 2,000 and a half uh, users. And we saw, for example, that they then look at the Apache logs, looking for the start attempt.php request. That is when the user clicks on the start attempt bot button. And 13% of the users enter in the first 10 seconds. The others enter a later, uh, a bit later. So this was an important input to simulate with JMeter with an, a <laughs> timing similar to what we could see in production. This is the JMeter script. Um, First, the users do the login to the system. In the real situation, the login is not in the last minute. They login with some minutes before the quiz starts. So in the, we configure in Shemeter a 10 minute ramp up time. I don't know if you know Shemeter, but it is. Uh, we configure it, for example, 1,000 threads or virtual users. So you can configure, they can be uh, entering the, the threads can be launching in a time period. Then there is the, we use a synchronized timer that waits until all virtual users are logged in. And when all are logged in, they go to the, the, the next timer. And the good finding was that Shaymeter comes with a Gaussian random timer. And we found that this, with that timer, with a 50 seconds deviation, we can obtain a similar distribution as we see in real logs with real evaluations. That is that was uh, important. Our infrastructure is very simple. It's not a cluster. We wanted to know <laughs> how much, how far we can go with only one application server. Maybe one application server doesn't, doesn't support the load and we have to install a cluster. But <laughs> how much one installation supports. This is uh, our infrastructure, our reverse proxy. You use Debian, VMware, one application server with PHP, FPM, and database server. The only more costly component is we have a storage, an enterprise storage with a fiber channel with SSD disk or fast disk. Okay, we started to run the test. The test failed um, in, at first, in the first runnings, 200 users, and it gives uh, failures. And that were, were the bottlenecks that we detected, reached max DB connections, reached max Apache workers, and too high CPU load in app server. Um, the first was increased the DB connection support in MySQL. We Augmented it to 700, and the server behaved correctly. Uh, changed it to Apache. Apache uh, MPM is multi-processing module. It's a multi-thread uh, module uh, opposed to Prefork, which, which is the default MPM in Debian. We use the Apache event and give a better, much better performance. So that was a good. A good choice. And the PHP F FPM uh, consumed much less RAM. 
uh, OP, OP cache, 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 uh, cache of PHP by code, and write the processors for the application server, A2, 12 CPU, because we saw that it was, that was CPU intensive. It was the main hardware factor that uh, influenced the performance. We run tested with 2,500 virtual users with no errors. That surprised us. We don't think that one single application server can support this number of users. And we, re we read the documentation of Moodle, but performance test with quizzes, the, the information is outdated. You can find uh, updated information in the Moodle documentation, so yeah. we think it's interesting. With 3,000, the, the performance was not good. These are the times. The max CPU usage, low leverage to the 100% was okay. Max quantity of Apache processes, this help, helps with the configuration of the event NPM, and max processes of PHP FPM. Memory, it has 12 gigabytes, and it still has free memory. Don't need more RAM. Monitoring, other simulations, if you once can, can talk about these this others. In conclusion, it's quite good, good results for only one application server. Simple deployment, it's not a cluster, it's only one application server, only one storage. Uh, no problem with distributed file systems or something like that. CPU intensive, so if you have money, buy, buy more CPU, no more RAM as in some pages it is said. Uh, this, this system was in, used in production in more than 200 online evaluations with up to 1,200 <laughs> students without problems that went all okay. And the scripts were useful for testing our model system in our universities. We shared the scripts and were used to test and see how much that supports. Our idea is to share this script and the results, the documentations, the configurations, the, the quiz, the MVC file with the user's file, so you can run this test in your environments. The script and load tests were, were made by Valentina Parula, which worked in our university. She's, she's not here, but she did a great work. This is the link to the, to the page. Uh, also, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we. we Our email address, supporteeva.csuedui, if you want to follow some questions.